Hello everyone. So today we are going to take a look at changing the way that we've been populating our text boxes and rather than having to name each one individually like we have done here, we're going to use a loop which will match the text box names to the field names for us. Um, so it is worth pointing out at this stage that you need to have called your database field names the same things as your text boxes um, or else this is not going to work. <laughs> um, so after saying that I am going to correct my text box because if you remember in my schema here that I have the two names here for first name and surname whereas in my form I've got the just the one box here for customer name. So I am going to change my label and I'm going to change my text box to call it first name. And if you just note as well here, I do have all of my text boxes prefixed um, with TXT. So that will become important shortly. You'll see why I mentioned that. Um, so now all of my fields here, the three that we're going to pull through, um, they have the same names as my database fields. So what we're going to do is, um, I think we'll get rid of all of this to be honest. Um, let's keep our call reset because we want to clear the form before we populate it every time um, just so that it doesn't leave any residual values in there. Um, and then I don't think we need any of that do we? No let's get rid of all that. Okay, and then what we want to do is let's just take the loop that we've already created in our reset sub. So let's grab that variable there, um, object control, um, and then let's just take this loop as well and just paste it here under reset. Um, and then what we're going to do is just tab it in a little bit and then we want to add a new um, if statement around it. So we just want to say if rs dot end of file equals false then do this and end if so what we're just saying there is we say make sure that the record set has something in it before we do this stuff um because obviously we don't want to try and update the controls if the is no data in our record set so we need to check that first um so that's all we've put there and then what we want to do is what we've um i don't know if you actually i'll just explain it again just in case you didn't watch um the previous video where i went through this loop so what it's doing here is it's going through each control that are available on the form so all of the controls that exist in me.controls and then it's just checking if it's a text box um, because we only want to update our text boxes obviously we don't want to update our labels or anything like that it's just the text boxes we want to fill in so it's saying if you're a text box then do this thing and then go to the next one basically. Um, and so what I want to put into here before under the reset sub we just set them all to null whereas now we want to set them to the values um, that are in the respective field names from our record set. So what we're going to put here now is rs.fields um, and then object.control.name dot value. So what we're saying here is where the, oh it's quite hard to explain that actually I should have thought this through first, <laughs> where the field name of the um, piece of data in the record set matches the name of the control then set it to be the value of the field basically. Um, but one thing I do need to wrap around here is if you remember I prefixed the text boxes with txt so this object control name will be the name of the field but with txt at the top so we just want to replace that out of it first. So just type around that just replace 
um, comma, and then txt with nothing. Okay. And then so all of that is doing is basically it's saying um, find the control that equals the names of these, take the txt from them, um, and then fill them with the value of whatever's in there. I hope that makes sense. I've probably not done the best job of explaining that. Um, but let's just check that that works. Let's have a look. Yes, it does. Happy days. And so we can prove um, that this works by, if we add another text box, just move that down a bit. Um, let's add our surname text box. So txt surname. Um, surname and all then we need to do is to add the surname field into our query string um, and then that should populate that for us yes there we go so we can see that it has populated that that is the correct value oh gosh there we go there we go. Um, yeah, so we can see there that we didn't need to type all of the gubbins that we had to type in before when we were naming each of the controls. Um, we can just add other fields in here now and it will do it for us. Um, like we could add in all the address fields, which we're going to do later on. Um, and then we wouldn't need to add any more code rather than other than um, typing it into the SQL string here which is quite good. Um, so the next thing that we're going to cover, I think, is let's do um, let's do a module to connect to and close the database connections um, so that we don't have to type all of these things in every time we want to use the um, connection. Um, because then I think we're going to start making um, other forms and starting to build up um, into more of an application, I think. Um, so yes, if you found this tutorial useful, please like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, feel free to add any comments below. Let me know if there's anything in particular that you want to see or want me to cover. Um, and yes, thank you for watching.